trust your first impression. Yes, it's a big oak tree. A big oak tree. Mm -hmm. Its arms extend way out from this huge trunk. Massive roots. And I sit between two of the biggest roots. And I'm able to rest my arms on those roots. The tree caresses me. It loves me. Connect with that tree. What do you receive from that tree? What thoughts? Love. Mm -hmm. Love. Love no matter what. Mm -hmm. Why have you come to be by this tree today? What is the message? That I'm loved. All of creation loves me. All that is loves me. And I'm surrounded by mountains that echo the love. They speak to me. What do they say to you today, these mountains? Connect with them. Always listen to us. We always have words of love for you. What connection do you have with the trees and the mountains? That they are alive, mm -hmm. just like I am. And as you sit between those roots of that tree, I want you to sense, feel, do you have a body there? I do. It fits mm -hmm. so nicely between those roots. Mm -hmm. Take a look at your body. What does it look like between those roots? It looks like me. Mm -hmm. My physical body. But it's lighter. It's lighter. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty. Mm -hmm. Does this body have any different types of energy around it? It's full of energy. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. Tell me more. It's um, lots of different colors. Um, sometimes it's one color and sometimes it's another. Now it's green. Mm -hmm. What do these colors symbolize? Uh, what do they mean as you change? Oh, just feelings and There are no words. Mm -hmm. Just the aliveness that is not always the same, but everyone is beautiful. Every color is beautiful in and of itself. Mm -hmm. It's so beautiful. This this feels so like I fit. Mm -hmm. I fit right here in the roots. This tree they just wrap around me. This, Are you able to feel the energy from this tree? Yes, it gets given me energy. Mm -hmm. Does the energy of the tree have any colors? Mm. What is that? No, I do. You do. But the tree does not. Mm -hmm. The tree is the tree. Yes. So let's find out what this place is. I'd like for you now to kind of zoom out and find out, where is this place? Does it have a name? I don't know its name. Mm -hmm. How do you get to this place? I just go there. Mm -hmm. When is it that you go to this place? I started going there yesterday. Mm -hmm. What did they before? Some, some recent, mm -hmm. and I remember I was here, and I didn't know why I was here. And there's a building, almost like horse stables, but I don't know what that's about. Let's find it's out what's man there. Man-made. Mm -hmm. Something man-made. Take a look. It. Let's walk over to that building. Mm -hmm. Find out what it is. 
Yeah, there's stalls in it, and it's, um, and all around me are mountains that mm -hmm. just sing and sing and sing. What else do you see? Uh, there's a road that leads below the, by that tree. Mm hmm. And it's, um, a dirt road. It's a little bit of a clay, reddish clay look to it. Mm -hmm. It looks like a well-traveled road. Mm -hmm. Let's find out who travels that road. Mm. They have to pass right by that tree. Mm -hmm. Lots of people do. Mm -hmm. What do they do when they pass by that tree? They don't notice it. Mm -hmm. They glance at it, but they don't really, they don't see it like I do. Mm -hmm. Do you have any special connection with this tree? I think I do. Let's find out where that connection came from. I'd like for you now to close that scene, and we're going to go now to the time when you first made that connection with that tree. Be there now. Where are you? I'm just standing there looking at the tree. Mm -hmm. It's not really, it's not the same. It's small. Mm -hmm. I'm just there. What do you look like there? Oh, me. Mm -hmm. mm, kind of a lesser version of me. Mm -hmm. It's not that version that was between the roots, kind of a little skinny emaciated version of me. Mm -hmm. What's different about you? Um, I'm the tree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm the tree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm the tree. I'm the tree now and I'm the tree that loves me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're a little skinny thing, aren't yeah, you? It was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so was the tree. <laughs> Tell me more about yourself as the tree. Well, I don't know how it happened, <laughs> oh, but I got from there to here. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So let's find out mm. what happened to change you. Wow. And just was me. Mm-hmm. Just a little skinny me. And let's find out what you had to go through uh, yeah. to become that beautiful oak with so much love in it. I had to watch the building of that damn building over there. Mm -hmm. I had to watch it. How did that make you feel? I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. I didn't like it. But I accepted it. I accepted it. It was there. And I just stayed and dug my roots in more. Mm -hmm. What happened next? Oh, they got bigger, and I got bigger. Mm -hmm. And then, wow, and then me came and sat down, mm -hmm. and all this color, and I started seeing me as the tree and me. It were the same. Mm. We're the same. And me is me. I, I don't know how to describe it. But I, I came to the tree and I sat down. But it was me that was hugging me. Mm -hmm. It's like the tree had been waiting all this time mm -hmm. to give of itself. But it was Something was, I gave it in return. How can that be? How can I be that in the tree? So I'm going to count from three down to one. When I get to number one, I'll tap your forehead, and you'll be able to access that source of information easily. Three, two, and one. Allow yourself now to tap in to that knowledge. I see. 
so I'm, I'm just seeing myself as scrawny, but my view of myself is as I really am because the potential was always there to be that tree with those big roots that welcome all those who want to come and sit, especially me. Mm -hmm. And when I come and sit and embrace me, it brings out all the colors of me, and we are one. But I am available to all those who want to come and sit in the embrace. Many will pass by, and that will be their choice. But many will come who want to, and will sit in the embrace, and all will be well. Mm -hmm. And as it should be. Some will go to the building and just see the building and wonder about it. Why is it there? What is that used for? Oh, look. But it's the tree that has the life. And it's good. And has Kathy gone to the buildings in her life? Oh. That's who she thought she might be like. Mm -hmm. But they can be there together. That's a representation for her of what she thought she was with the many different stalls being the different aspects of her in the one building. It's more, it's organic who she is. And she is seeing the difference between the building and the tree. But the tree is more representative of who she is. And the tree that grew, and not the building that was just put there and remains until such a time as it will decay, the tree will be forever. Mm -hmm. Now she's tapped into this tree today. Would we consider this tree, this higher part of her, the same as what she calls the Holy Spirit in the scriptures? That. Can you explain to her what that means? Yes, the Holy Spirit in the scriptures, as she used to believe, was a separate part that thought it could come into her. But it's so much bigger than that, and her understanding was limited at that time, just like the scrawny little person looking at the scrawny tree. She sees the unending, eternal, enormous of all, and Holy Spirit doesn't really cover it. Mm -hmm. Why is it that Kathy had to go through this path of religion in and out to get to this path now? She wanted it. She loves the conflict. Mm. She really does. At times she does not, and that's when she operates in the smallness of herself. Goes in over and visits the stables, looks at each one of the stalls, looks at the aspects, analyzes it six ways to Sunday. But the tree, that's her hangout. Mm -hmm. That's where she'll find all of her answers within herself. Mm -hmm. It's all there. But this is it. This is... This is life here on this earth. It's figuring it out. She has fun with it most of the time, some of the time. Mm. Well, what she's trying to figure out most, the biggest thing is judgment. It's part of it. 
It's part of it. You're not ever going to get rid of it completely until you've left this earth. Mm. It is just part of it, but it's just a game. Don't take it so seriously. Laugh. Enjoy it. Laugh at yourself. It really is a game, and it's so much fun, and you know you love it. You love it. You just get bogged down in the negativity of it. Come sit between my roots. Mm. So when she finds herself judging in the future, what would you like to tell her? Sit with your judgment. Observe it. No matter where it comes, if it comes at the beginning or the end, no matter where the awareness comes, allow your awareness to be what it is. Because that's really you. You are the awareness. Let it teach you and guide you. Oh, this is a beautiful place to be in the awareness. There's where the life is. Yes. So has she been incorrect in saying that it does not serve her? Uh, Yes. (laughs) Wanting to blow it up? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Feeling stuck? Drama, drama. Mm -hmm. She's got a lot of drama. But it's fun. It's what we love to see the drama. <laughs> we love to see the drama. Yeah. Well, doesn't a tree have to go through some drama t- also with weather? Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. And, you know, where people walk by, mm-hmm. that ground is so hard. They pass it by, and the roots just can't get over there. Mm-hmm. So that's why we have to wait for people to come to us and want to sit. Mm -hmm. so as far as judging we're not going to even answer that question Mm -hmm. because it's part of the game it is Mm -hmm. and it is a luscious just a luscious part of the game Mm -hmm. yeah so don't judge the judgment Mm -mm. okay play along with the game absolutely okay well when one finds oneself judging negatively let's say negatively to yourself. You're not good enough. You're not smart enough. You're not enough. Where does that judging come in? Is that part of the game? It is. Mm -hmm. It's part of knowing yourself. Um, It is very important to sit in the awareness of the negativity. Mm -hmm. But once you're in the awareness, there's no judgment there. That's how you know you're in awareness. You just know who you are. You do. And then you can look at the negativity if you even judge it as such, which you don't. It's kind of a, you're not going to judge it. Mm-hmm. And it's negative. You, you're going to judge. What actually you do is you have the feeling it doesn't feel good or it doesn't feel quite right. Mm-hmm. You're not quite lining up with it. Mm-hmm. And that's how you know it, not the, and that's the negativity about it, not the judgment on that, but it just doesn't feel right. Mm-hmm. So you, you just get to make a choice. That's a beautiful thing, mm-hmm. a beautiful thing. Now, sometimes we say that the ego is the one that's judging negatively. What would you like to say about that? That is probably the source of it, but the ego is an important part of all this journey here on the earth. Mm -hmm. Explain a little bit about the ego. Yeah, yeah. The ego is really important. Um, I know you are. The ego is sitting over there going, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, But it's, what are you going to let control you? You're in control, not your ego. Mm -hmm. So... If you want your ego to be in control, you'll experience that. And then you can come into awareness of that and decide you don't want the ego to be in control. So you experience that. See, it's just a game. Mm-hmm. But the ego doesn't have to be in control. It'll, it'll relinquish its spot, especially when it knows you're just acknowledging it, that it's there. Mm-hmm. You're aware it's there. And 
sometimes it does some pretty good things, so cool things for you. What kind of things does the ego do for you that helps you out? Well, it can just maybe signal a warning for you. Mm -hmm. um, if you think you're going to be in danger and maybe you're not getting a subtle message, so maybe it brings on a message of, look out! Mm -hmm. um, and it, at first glance, it's fear, and it is, but then as you can look at that and experience that and decide, well, I don't need to react in fear. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you go ahead with the fear. Again, it's just a game. It's a game. We're all playing it, and we all play it really well here on the earth. This is a great, great board mm -hmm. game. It really is, but this is what it's meant to be. Mm -hmm. What about the people who are tired of this board game? You can opt out if you want, mm -hmm. but why? Why? If you can... S oh, dear ones, I know how you feel. I, I see Kathy go through it. I see how she feels about it. And But if you can just laugh it off in those moments, and sometimes laughter can bring that awareness. The awareness is always there. It's just covered up with fear or covered up with anxiety or worrying, all those things that are offshoots of the fear. Mm -hmm. But, um, oh, wow. Just go with your laughter. Go with the feeling that feels good and then see where that takes you and then see where that takes you and see where that takes you. Don't get swallowed up by um, thoughts that you might have that, oh, well, that's just my ego. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Accept yourself. That's one thing Kathy has trouble with, is accepting that part of herself that's the ego that she doesn't like. And then she gets in conflict with her ego, and that doesn't really get her anywhere. So how do you make friends with your ego? Just acknowledge that it's there. Mm -hmm. The ego's over there going, yeah, I'm here. And that it is powerful. It does have the capacity to be very powerful, but you get to decide you as the you as the big me you as the self get to decide don't ever think you don't have a choice it's always your choice mm -hmm. always no matter what now kathy has trained to do hypnosis and i know that the ego sometimes interferes during sessions it likes to be in control what advice do you have to give to Kathy about working in sessions where the ego pops in and says, I'm here? Well, that was definitely planned when mm -hmm. she had the before. Mm -hmm. She needed to feel what it was like for the ego to come in and that it was just okay. And the session still went well, and she got some wonderful information. Mm -hmm. And that way, when she does it with other people, she doesn't have to fear if theirs comes in. Mm -hmm. See, it all works together. It's this lovely dance. You're yeah. dancing with the ego. That's so all good. Yeah, but the, the ego can lead you or it can follow you. Mm -hmm. And it will. It so can you be can trained. Do, so it could be do, you could do both, actually. Yes. Okay. It's good. your choice. It's mm -hmm. always your choice. Mm -hmm. Why is it that she has not been going full force into this hypnosis? after she's been trained? Mm -hmm. Is she being patient or is she dragging her feet? It's both. Mm -hmm. She is really practicing patience and we're very proud that she is able to be patient, but part of her patience is wrapped up in a dragging of the feet as she uses that term. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you see her doing this in the future? Not totally QHHT. Mm -hmm. This was a starting point and a good one. And we really like working with Kathy when she just takes it one step at a time and doesn't look way out into the future. Um, she works well in this way to take the one step, focus on that step, and then we give her a little taste of the next step. And sometimes she gets a little bit ahead and then she re she realizes we give her signals she's getting ahead. 
And so she stops. Mm -hmm. Is Reiki something she should be looking at? She doesn't need Reiki as far as a designation. Mm -hmm. um, we are all channels of this universal energy. Mm -hmm. And that is all Reiki is. Um, that is not to say that if you or anyone else should feel to be designated or that is your choice, but it is not necessary in order for the universal energy to be channeled through you to have the designation. Mm -hmm. If she would like to do it, she can, but she doesn't need it. That will be her choice. Mm -hmm. Well, she's been channeling some other energy now. She's been doing automatic writing. Yes, Jesus. Mm -hmm. We saw her. Yes. Can you tell her a little bit about that? Jesus is always with her. She's always loved him. She's always loved the way he communicates with her. And she interchanges Jesus with Holy Spirit as she understands it from the scriptures. Today, her understanding of Jesus has expanded, and it needed to. Mm -hmm. She kind of threw him under the bus when she got out of her religious party. Mm -hmm. She's learning. She's learning a lot. And the more she learns, the more she realizes she doesn't know. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of funny to be with. Mm -hmm. It's a good place to be. So she did have a question about Jesus. She wanted to know what was the true significance of the blood of Jesus. This blood that she studied and understood from the scriptures does not have the same importance from Jesus' perspective as it does from the scriptures. His death and resurrection was what was important. The blood is not what was important. The message of his death is that we are all eternal. There is no death. So that is the truth. That's what she needed to know. That is what she needs to know. Mm -hmm. And that is the power of Jesus, of the Christ consciousness that is in her and in everyone is our eternal nature. But it is not always accepted. It is studied much, but even Kathy has not begun to fully tap into this eternal nature and to really accept it mm -hmm. and go deep with it. Now, she, you said that she already threw Jesus under the bus, and there's a lot of people who have not even thrown him under the bus. They just don't accept Jesus at all. Do you need to believe in Jesus? Well, he's okay if you don't accept him. Mm -hmm. I can tell you that. Mm -hmm. He's kind of like the roots of that tree. Yes, not seen. Yeah, if you want to walk over him, and that's your choice. If you want to be embraced by him, he's there. But you'll find your way. Every person will find their way that they're meant to find. If Jesus is the way that you've meant to find, you will find him. And when you find your way, you'll find the truth of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And you do not need to be told about him. Mm -hmm. So it's really not about the man, it's about... Oh, no. About it's never about the man. Mm -hmm. It was about the message. It was about the love. The love. It's about who we are and always will be, and nothing can ever change it. Nothing can change it. We are all one. Now Kathy wants to expand her capacity to love unconditionally. She seems stuck. 
She wants to expand that heart consciousness. What's going on there? Why is she so stuck? Stuck within herself. That's only stuckness. Mm -hmm. There's such a word. We'll use that since she does. The stuckness is herself. She's stuck within herself. Can you explain that more? Why she has chosen to be stuck within herself? Fear. Mm -hmm. Afraid if she is who she really is. That she gets a glimpse into of who she really is. That she will not be accepted mm -hmm. by the people that she that are of value to her in her life, the people, her family, and right there in her home. So she holds herself in a place of what we see as a limbo, and she tries to balance it. But this is her journey. She's, she's got to balance it. We give her clues and we encourage her, but we're all watching but in a wonderful way. We're watching what she does with it, watching the choices that she makes, how she makes them. I could, only, I could almost see a tightrope where she's balancing herself on this tightrope. That's she exactly goes, the vision we've given her. Mm -hmm. Where if she goes too much in one direction, yes. she falls in the other direction, she That's falls exactly away. It. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's where she is. So how does she walk this tightrope confidently? Gingerly mm -hmm. is how she's doing it. Um, our suggestion to her mm -hmm. would be get off of it for a little while and just feel your feet on solid ground so you can feel all your feet going one way or the other and feel that for a season and just see what happens. Don't walk on the tightrope. Walk solidly on both feet. Whichever way you choose, choose one or the other and then see how that feels. If it doesn't feel right, then see what your next step is. And this is where we don't want to give her too many steps at one time. Mm -hmm. One at a time for her focus. Mm -hmm. But choose. And will she be getting support while she does we this? We always support her. Mm -hmm. Who's guiding her? Who are Jesus her is mm -hmm. and Michael. Um, Gabriel is to her right, always declaring for her. Mm -hmm. And Michael is on her left, always warring for her, whatever is declared. Um, she's uh, practiced this for a while, many years ago, and then she got away from it and she began it again. But this is one way we do it, is she sits there and meditates. She has knowing that comes along her right side of what to declare for herself. And then when she declares it, she depends upon Michael to war for that. Mm -hmm. Now she asks the question whether whether entities and spirits are interchangeable. She wants to know the difference. You talk about life being eternal. How do you categorize those? It's the energy that's eternal. Mm. And the energy ebbs and flows and moves and there's all sorts of uh, lightness and darkness within the energy and one and the other are they're one we don't separate out the light from the dark and that is something that Kathy has tried to do and we're trying to work with her on that and it's something that I think a lot of people perhaps are mistaken about mm -hmm. you really need one oneness in the two we, we need to stop separating them out. Mm -hmm. In order to have the wholeness, we need both halves. God is light. All that energy is light. Jesus came to show us the light. 
and I know this may be confusing for some to say that there's darkness there, but there is. It is makes up the whole because we cannot know light in this dimension, particularly unless we've experienced darkness. Mm -hmm. So they are beautiful, as you mentioned earlier, Alba. It's a beautiful dance. Mm -hmm. And therein lies the game. You can look at it as a game or a dance. You want to get on the dance floor and, and dance? Or are you going to sit them all out and watch everybody else dance? So do you think that answers her question about the differences? Yes, we will work with her more on this. Mm -hmm. We have been guiding her towards not getting bogged down Mm -hmm. and the muck mm -hmm. of labels and definitions and it's all just ways to communicate that the best way to communicate is how do you feel mm -hmm. about it. Don't worry about the label or the wording that you give it. It's how you feel about it. Is this the direction you want to go? Then go. You'll be supported. And if it's not direction you don't want to go, you'll be supported because we honor your choices. Good. She is clear as a bell. There is nothing there that needs to be healed. She's had things that have happened. She's come for healing. She's received healing. She's done it before. Um, she's continually asking, am I clean on this? Am I clean on that? Because I don't want anything to bog me down. And She knows that in order for her to be clean, none of this other stuff can 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 bog her down. Mm -hmm. So she has no physical, emotional, mental, or spiritual traumas that need healing. You're checking. Thank you. Well, there was a little brain block in there, mm -hmm. and because of her making these questions and then her doing a writing last night, she cleared those out. Mm -hmm. And this is something that it's not a one-time thing. This is something that is good to check regularly. Mm -hmm. Not to worry about it or be anxious about it, but just check in. Check in with yourself. See how things are going. Check your body. Where are the tensions that you feel in your body? What You feel a heaviness anywhere. These are things anybody can do. She started doing this, just kind of checking in with her body, and that really helps her clear things out. Mm -hmm. Just love yourself like that. Mm -hmm. That's really a very loving thing to do for yourself. How do you go ahead and clear your body once you find something in it? It goes along with your belief systems, mm -hmm. and everybody's different. Follow your belief system. If you're fearful and afraid something's there, don't operate in a fear. Call on love. Call on whatever you feel comfortable calling on to... Um, put you in a place or help you guide you to a place that there isn't fear because mm -hmm. you don't the work is not done in fear the work is done in a very high level energy of love and it's very easy to bridge that between fear and love it's a very easy bridge you just call for help and believe that the help will come but it is based on your belief system okay. belief systems are very powerful so very, no very matter, powerful. No matter what it is. No matter what it, it is. There's no exact science to any of this. Mm -hmm. It is based on you. You have it all within you. And it's a gold mine, a treasure trove of all that you need. Just be confident in whatever you use. Yes. And believe that the love that you are will transcend anything and take you anywhere that you need to go. Very good. Now, she has a lot of love for her family. Yes. It's a great game. We just can't say enough about what a great game it is. And we're trying to get this to Kathy. Mm -hmm. We're trying to get her to laugh. She's starting to lighten up a little bit. But 
She's really serious about this stuff. Why is it that she's so serious about this? It's her left brain. She went through accounting and it was all about analyzing six ways to suddenly analyze this, analyze this. Everything has to add up. However, because of her mathematical mind, she that was our bridge actually into getting her more into her right brain because she's very mathematically minded. So we use that bridge and numerology and how numbers line up and how you can manipulate numbers and to bridge her over into the right side. Mm -hmm. And uh, see, we're always looking to help, always looking for it. And everybody's different. That was just hers. Mm -hmm. it, it was a great way to see her walk across that bridge. Is that true for other people too? Because there's a, there's a thought out there that if you are very mathematical or analytical, you cannot be hypnotized. That is not true. Can you tell me But if you that? believe it, there it, you are. It's your belief system. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Believe you can be hypnotized, hypnotized and you'll be hypnotized. Mm -hmm. Very good. Do not believe it. See how much power you have? You do. How much power is this such a wonderful game? Why was this, cha this game chosen? Why was it made? It's important to see the contrast of separation. Mm hmm separation from where you were and you had everything mm -hmm. you could experience anything you had everything because love was all that was necessary is this and you had to find out if that was truly the it, case is this when when we were one with with what we call god oh yes mm -hmm. that oneness yes so when we were with god that mm -hmm. we needed nothing we were all <laughs> one oh yeah it's mm -hmm. so who chose the game to be we separate. did. We did. We did with, with God's permission, mm -hmm. loving permission. He delights in it. He delight. He never sees mistakes. Mm -hmm. A lot of people. I guess do. if you want to call it a mistake, mm -hmm. it's a mistake. Get it? Mistake. Mm -hmm. Take one or take two. That's it. Mm -hmm. So go back and try. Take it again. So if you make a mistake. It's really not a mistake. It's just do over. Well, if you believe it's a mistake, then for you it is. But for all that is the oneness, mm -hmm. it's just you growing and expanding and everybody learns from it. Mm -hmm. Does the oneness get anything from us growing? Absolutely. We expand big time. Mm hmm. Big time. Yes. So does that feed the oneness to make it? Bigger? Yes, it does. Yes, but and yet, it's all there is. Mm -hmm. This is I don't have I can't give you words to describe this part because the words are not easily found mm -hmm. for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. But it's cool. <laughs> it's really cool. So can you tell me about relationships that we have, for example, with uh, relatives? She wants to know if she was connected at any point. Does she have a past or a future life purpose with her? This is another avenue that we are going to block off. Mm -hmm. um, it's important for her sister now to see the sister Sharon. They have a strong connection and we brought them together because they were both searching. Mm -hmm. And we orchestrated the timing. Um, that was a beautiful thing. Uh, they both worked it out and had desires of what they wanted. And it was like, bam! Um, we were all just watching this take place between the two of them. And it was, it was important for both of them. They both expanded. Mm -hmm. um, it was a beautiful thing. And so she's highly connected with her sister right now, and that's all we want her to know. Don't worry about the future, what the past. It's right now, okay. right now. This is beautiful right now. Good. Would you tell her why she has issues with her body right now? Let's take a scan of her body. Mm -hmm. uh, her teeth. She's been rubbing her tongue on her teeth, and she's probably eating things with sugar in it more than that's what she, that's all that is on mm -hmm. her teeth. 
Oh. So all that calcium is sugar? Yeah, it's not really the calcium. And when the hygienist looked at her teeth mm -hmm. and thought something was different, it, it really wasn't. Um, it's just, Kathy wants everything to be just perfect and wants to make sure she's watching her body and she's taking care of it. And that's okay. That's her choice. And she wants it to appreciate it because mm -hmm. she wants it to last her forever long she's here. And, and we honor that. But that was just what that was about. Mm -hmm. Kind of showed her she's maybe going a little too far. That so, everything's okay. Okay. What about her jaw? It's, she says it gets tight. Yeah, that it gets tight. She, <laughs> it's that judgment thing. She just judges herself. And here's, here's the thing. She judges herself. And we watch this. And it's her choice. And we honor it. And we get it. We really get a kick out of her doing it. And we say it like this because we want her to learn to laugh about it. Mm -hmm. But we watch her judge herself so intensely. I mean, minutely, like into the details, judging. And then the next person she comes across, she projects it on them. <laughs> <laughs> and then she's wondering why she's judging. Mm. So, Alba, you led her in the right direction yes. that her judging is she's judging herself and projecting it on others. Okay. And as soon as she learns this, she will, and it's where she is, but you know what? It's a game. And we're trying to work with her to say, just be okay with right where you are. Mm -hmm. You're just judging yourself, girl. Just lighten up about it. Have yeah. fun with it. Or not. And mm -hmm. if you don't, if you don't like it, then she's a different direction next time. <laughs> it really is just okay. Good. So how do we get her to release her jaw? Uh, she, that will come when she stops, stops judging, judging herself. Okay. Good. What about her scalp itching? That's, that's tied in with that. Mm -hmm. Just uh, all with her jaw back to her head and just that whole area. Um, in, in fact, we're going to tell her now, whenever you scratch your scalp, look at what you're thinking about. Mm -hmm. and then see if you're judging yourself mm -hmm. and see if it's connected. We want her to work these things through. We don't want to tell her everything because mm -hmm. she likes to work them through. That's why we do this because she likes it. This is, this is her part of her game for her. She likes to work it through. Mm -hmm. So this signal is her body's way of saying you're judging yourself? Yeah, okay. it is. And, and we're we're orchestrating a bit of it too mm -hmm. uh, along with her body because you know, we're all one. Mm -hmm. Do these signals that come up in the body, are they similar in other people's bodies or does everybody have their own little dictionary? Everyone needs to look at themselves, go inside themselves. The messages will be different. Mm -hmm. um, it's about knowing yourself uh, and honoring all of you, honoring your body, honoring your ego and honoring the higher self, as some would call it, mm -hmm. because they're not... Maybe some would speak to these as separate aspects of yourself, mm -hmm. but the more we stay in that concept, those ideas, those thought structures of this is separate, this is separate, mm -hmm. it, it defeats the oneness of what we really are. So as we can begin to see the oneness of what we are here in human form and integrating all of that, it helps us even more to understand the integration in the other dimensions. Mm -hmm. That's, that's why it's here. It's a template for yes. us. Yes. See the game? Yep. So we have to work it out here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Very good. Let's get back to her body. Why is she so cold all the time? She's drawn to warmer climates. She is. She wants to live there. And what's the best place for her to live? We've been pushing Hawaii. Mm-hmm. She's heard us too. She's even told her husband and son, I'm going to be going to Hawaii. Y'all are invited, by the way. <laughs> and they say, okay, well, let's go visit. Let's go on vacation there. No, I'm talking about living there. Mm -hmm. So, but again, we let her make these choices and we are watching on as she does this. So if this is her choice, we will honor it. If it is not her choice, we will honor that. 
Now, where does free will come into all of this? Is there free will? It is, and th th again, there are no words for this part of it because it's all part of our free will, but see, we're one. Mm -hmm. So how can you say it's free will and it's just me? Mm -hmm. Or it's just you when we're all one? You see? It can't be just my free will. It has to be everybody's. Oh, yeah, I mean, it can be my free will. I can choose it, mm -hmm. but it's still lumped in there with the whole. Right. It, it's, we got to get out of this, this thing about separatist, separate, 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 this, this, this. It's just not. And once you get out of that, you find you don't have any words. Mm -hmm. All the words just kind of wonk, mm -hmm. fall to the ground. Yeah. But it's a game. And we chose this game for a reason. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and that's it. Just embrace what you've chosen. And that's what we're trying to get her to do. Get off the tightrope. Embrace what you choose. Mm hmm there's no wrong answer and there's no wrong choice. Now I know that at this time things are changing a lot. We've been told that this earth is ascending, things are changing. What do you have to say to Kathy today about the changes that are happening? Is there you are ascending. Everyone can ascend mm -hmm. as they choose. The ascension is not a physical ascension. But if that's what you believe, there you are. Mm -hmm. This is your choice. But the ascension, in the larger perspective, is each one ascending in their own time, in their own way. Here's a good example. And we love the example you gave Kathy before because she can relate to this. Mm -hmm. You know, you go in, you plant the garden. You till up the soil first, you prepare it, and you go in and you decide what you want to plant. And everything ripens and is harvested at different times. All these different fruits and vegetables, the trees, would represent the different people. And some seeds were planted different times than others, and so there's going to be a harvest at different times for different people. Even within, for example, Kathy will relate to this, um, they have a row of blackberries. And they're all blackberries, and they're the, all the same variety of blackberry. They all come in at different times. And you're not going to go in and harvest one that's red. You're going to wait till it gets to the peak of plumpness. And she goes up, and she looks, and she eyeballs that blackberry because she knows the best time to pick it is right when those little nodules are plump, but not when the bugs have gotten on them and started eating away at them. There could even be a bug on there, but it hasn't started eating away at it. But that's the time to harvest it. There might be one right beside of it that's not ready. It has not come into its own. It's not ready. She would have dreamed of picking and eating that blackberry. So the ascension it's like a harvest, so in its time, when it's ready, it will happen. And so we, and you, and all of us, can focus our attention on becoming the best, ripest blackberry we can be. And when it's time for us to be harvested, picked at perfection. And by the way, you need to eat them right when you pick them. That's when they're the best. Kathy knows that. That's, that's when it happens. That's ascension. That's, and that's the event for you. Mm -hmm. But whatever you believe, that will be the event for you. Mm -hmm. It really is so important what you believe. And we honor what you believe. We work with what you believe. So everybody has a different idea of what the event is, of what this yes. harvest is. Mm -hmm. Is there one event? Yes, for each person, there's mm -hmm. one event for that mm -hmm. person. Mm -hmm. And they have so much to do with that event. It's not something that's going to come up on them mm -hmm. and overtake them. They will be ready for whatever event comes to them. Mm -hmm. there, 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 there are no words much more for this because it is not a scary thing. 
there is no fear in this at all. It's, but it will be noticed. You will notice it within yourself. You will feel something different. But it is, we, want, we just want to say to everyone, it's no fear. No fear. And Kathy doesn't fear about this either. Mm -hmm. She's read the book of Revelation multiple times and this event is likened unto it by some, but there is no fear in it. There is just love. That, that's what revelation actually means. It's revealed. Mm -hmm. Something gets revealed to you. Mm -hmm. You ascend. When that revelation comes to you, you ascend. And it's, it, it's simple, and yet it's not simple. I really don't have some words for all that it is. Mm -hmm. It's rich. It's much deeper than even what I've just described, but mm -hmm. it's rich, very rich. So in describing the blackberries, is there a physical event that we're picked off the branch? Or is it something that is just a different knowing within us? It depends on the individual. If you believe you're going to be picked off and your desire is to be picked off mm -hmm. and harvested and used for blackberry jam or whatever. <laughs> if that is what you believe, mm -hmm. you know, our desires are so important. And I use the word our because we are speaking to Kathy, but we are not separate. Mm -hmm. This is so important that every one of us know on this side of the veil and that side of the veil, all of us, that we are one, and what affects one affects another. Wherever you hold your fear, it is felt. Wherever you hold your love, it is felt. What do you want to add to your life's experience? Do you want more love or do you want more fear? You decide, and we will honor your choice, and all will be well. Mm -hmm. Now, I've been told that depending on what you believe in is what you really create in your afterlife, for example, or maybe the harvest. Is this true? That how you believe that it's going to be yes. is really what you create? It is. It is so much. Um, what is is what is, and there's nothing you can do to change what is. Mm -hmm. For example... There is one sonship. Mm -hmm. We talk about many sons of God, but there's one sonship. Can you explain that, please? Y yes. See, God wanted to know Himself, Source, all that He is, mm -hmm. whatever name that you want to call. He mm -hmm. doesn't. She, He, this wanted to know and if you are all that is with no need for anything how do you know yourself we don't understand these things and it's hard for me to give words to it and I encourage everyone to use your discernment and if these things make you feel uncomfortable that's okay we're all at different places so we are all parts of this huge crystal, if we could say, for example, that God was one crystal. We are all crystals within that crystals, and then crystals within those crystals, and crystals, and, and it goes deep and deep, and we're gathering information so we can all see and experience all the different sides of the crystals, so we can all know about the whole. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It's so hard to have words for this. Um, and this is the beautiful part of it, is every time you gather information in your experiences, you share it with others in this oneness. So nothing's discounted at all. It's all important. And that's why the, there are no mistakes. Mm -hmm. We all learn. We all grow. We all expand. Even in what you may call the negativity, 
we expand. But it just depends on what you want. What do you want? Do you want the negativity? Do you, what do you believe? And so when you pass over, cross over, and the physical body is no longer here, and what you're left with is who you really are, you take those beliefs with you and they manifest. It's like there was so much momentum built up in your belief that that has to play out until the momentum stops. It's like you twirl, you know, the little widgets or whatever mm-hmm. you call them, mm-hmm. the things to twirl with the magnets in them and you twirl it and twirl it and, the, and it builds momentum. And then it, at some point it does stop and it plays itself out. Well, your belief goes on and on until it's played out. And then what you are able to see is the truth. Mm. Does that make sense? Yes. So it's good to be able to have a belief system that you feel comfortable with, one of love. Very good, Alba. That's right. One that you, that feels right to you. So if you have a belief system and something doesn't feel right, you know, it is good that you mentioned this because this is good for Kathy mm-hmm. because we, we are dancing, Alba. Mm-hmm. She, this is how she got here. She had beliefs in her that somehow didn't feel right. And she was kept clinging to these old teachings and old teachings and old teachings and old teachings. And then one day she questioned it. And it started building a bridge and then she questioned it again and built a bridge. And as she began walking over, she would look back to the other side. And so building bridges sometimes are not very comfortable for people. And Kathy was one of those, but she saw, we gave her a vision that she had built this bridge and she kind of liked that she did it because she can go back and forth. But there comes a time when you, kind of have to hang out in one part or the other, and that's where she is. Mm-hmm. Just, you know, you're going back and forth over the bridge. So it, it's, it's so important to look at your beliefs, see what you believe. Are you comfortable? And this is part of the game. It's work. If you want to call it work, we don't like to call it work mm-hmm. with Kathy. We like to, because she's so serious. <laughs> We like to just laugh about it and call it a game. Mm -hmm. Some people may be offended by calling it a game, and that is okay. If you want to call it work, it's work. And that is your choice, and it's beautiful work. It's whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Now, when you have a certain belief system, do you tend to attract others with the same belief system? You do. Mm -hmm. You do. Mm -hmm. Because I, I get asked sometimes, and I'm sure Kathy will if she starts practicing, I get asked to ask things that are not in my belief system. Mm-hmm. I don't feel comfortable asking about something that I don't resonate with. Mm-hmm. Can you explain a little bit about that? It's come to you for a reason. Mm-hmm. Um, so you can feel that you're uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. And then you can see why am I uncomfortable mm-hmm. and make a choice. Yeah, And it'll either affirm the choice you've already made because... That's what's necessary for you. Yes. But it's a gift they've given you. Correct. They just mirrored something for you. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful gift. So it could kind of affirm, this is not my belief system. Mm -hmm. These are my boundaries. Yes. And I don't believe in that. Therefore, I will not address it. Yes. And there can still be the love Mm -hmm. and the acceptance. Mm -hmm. Um, We don't even talk about forgiveness because there's no unforgiveness in Mm -hmm. that. Um, Mm -hmm. That's the beautiful part. You know, people talk about, well, God forgives. God forgives. I hope I'm not offending anyone here, but God never had unforgiveness, so he doesn't need the forgiveness. He never had, or she, you know, whatever you want to call, there was never any unforgiveness. We are the ones who invented forgiveness with the help of God because we're the ones who created unforgiveness. That's just a game too, mm-hmm. and that's okay. I, I, it's just it's just lovely that how the game is just lovely. Mm-hmm. We're really trying to get this into Kathy. I hope she listens to this over and over again. So when you hold something against somebody, you're not forgiving them. It seems to be 
the tension that you build within you, almost like a pimple. It almost hurts. Isn't that part of the game, too, to be able to pop that pimple? Oh, yes, it? yes. We just showed Kathy last night. Facts will come. Mm -hmm. People come into your life. They say something. They do something. And then she wraps her interpretation around the facts mm. and then responds to the, her interpretation, her own interpretation, her own interpretation. And then she wonders why she feels that way about that person, mm -hmm. like they did something to her mm -hmm. or, but we, we're, we're going to be working with her again on this because she's opened up about it. This was where she was blocked in her head and where the process is opened up for her because she's begun seeing she was the one who had the interpretation that caused the discomfort, the pain, the sorrow, mm -hmm. the unforgiveness, mm -hmm. the, she made up the interpretation. The facts were there to help her as a gift. The mm -hmm. person was mirroring for her as a gift, but no worries if she wants to wrap her interpretation around it. That's great too. We'll teach her in that because mm -hmm. she will learn. She will learn because their awareness will come at some point. Awareness comes at different points. Awareness is really all there. It just, we cloak it. We put a veil over it mm -hmm. with our own interpretation. And talking about veils, why do we come into this lifetime with such a strong veil? Source, or God, he is totally unveiled. Mm -hmm. He is raw. You, you get everything. And to bring that with us in he, to this game, it, it, it wouldn't be a game. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's like, what's the point? You see, that, I don't know if this makes sense, but we're there and have everything. We've decided to know what the oneness is by creating its opposite mm. of separation. And as we come into that separation, if we still knew oneness, how can we know the separation mm -hmm. in full? Mm -hmm. So part of the veil, veiling of it is important, but you know, we, we leave things behind um, and we leave them behind for us in case we forget completely. And sometimes it happens. Kathy um, had trauma in earlier on in her life and she, she forgot her way and then she'd find it and then she'd analyze it like we said, but she's coming into a place of processing things differently and this is important for her to listen to herself because herself is her guidance. It's not guides. It, she needs to know that it's not guides. It's her. She can call on help like Michael and Gabriel and Jesus, but it's she's the one doing it. That's the whole point of it. But when we connect with guides and all, that is the pointer to the oneness. Mm -hmm. And so for that reason, it is important to remember the oneness. But we have to have the separation. That's the point of the whole thing. And you can't experience separation without leaving behind a veil of what the oneness was like. Because that oneness is so strong and so all pervasive. You don't even think about separation. Oh, it's just not even on the radar. <laughs> I hope that helped. Yes. So why did you bring Kathy here today? She needed to hear all of this. Mm -hmm. She needed to go so deep and be free. Mm -hmm. um, and that was it. Be free. Um, then that was the point of all of this. We knew she wanted to be free. She knew she did too. She just didn't know how to go, go about it. And she mm -hmm. put the own roadblocks there. <laughs> Because she was afraid to be free. She's afraid on that tightrope. She's afraid to commit one way or the other. Mm -hmm. Do you think that she has gotten today what she needed to get? Yes. Mm -hmm. but it, it will take her playing the game. As mm -hmm. some people may call it, it will take her 
doing the work. Mm -hmm. It will take her um, living life, not just sitting on the fence. Mm -hmm. You can walk the tightrope for a little while, but enough is enough. (laughs) Are there any of her ancestors that would like to give her a message today? Her grandmother, Lannan. Mm-hmm. She smiles at her. That was always uh, what her grandmother did. Mm-hmm. She's smiling. Her grandmother was all about love. All about love. And all about forgiveness. And she left a beautiful legacy for Kathy in that regard. And they have an open openness just about that and her grandmother is just speaking just laugh and laugh and smile you won't believe what it's like inside (laughs) yeah very good are there any of her guides or angels that have any messages for her today Gabriel and Michael still um, tell her that they're always there for Mm -hmm. the here. Mm -hmm. And uh, they actually tell her, you know, we're not necessary. You go, girl. (laughs) (laughs) But we're here whenever you need us. If Mm -hmm. this is how you want to do it, we're here. Your choice. Good. And the one that we have been speaking with, what do you call yourself? We... Mm -hmm. Um, are Jesus. Mm -hmm. We are all that is. We are a collective. Mm -hmm. We are Kathy. Mm -hmm. We are Source. We are all that can be imagined. Mm -hmm. We are. Very good. We have no name. How does she connect with you easier next time without having to go into this state? It, just meditation. She's there. Boom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Writing, meditation. We are so glad she started writing again because mm-hmm. that is an easy way for her. She connects with that very easily. Mm-hmm. And that is uh, a really good channel, especially because of her belief system that Jesus is speaking to her. So that mm-hmm. opens the door for her. You know, he, he speaks very lovingly and she recognizes his his the way he speaks to her, but it's really her Mm -hmm. (laughs) too. It's, you know, we're all one. I I can't emphasize that enough. And to to say it's this one or this one or that one or that one, it's time now that we all ascend into this oneness. Mm -hmm. This is the event. It's the accepting the oneness, Mm -hmm. accepting of the oneness and the eternal nature of who the one is, of who we all are, Mm -hmm. everyone. Do you have a final message for me or humanity or anybody else? Only the repetition of what we've been saying. Mm -hmm. You need but believe. Look at what you believe. Because that's where everything's coming from. Always, always help is there to remind you. When you get help, it's a reminder of the oneness. Bask in that. Let it in. Always see it as beautiful. We just can't say that enough. You are all supported. You are all accepted right where you are. You do not have to ascend to be accepted. You're accepted right now, no matter where you are. 
no matter what your thoughts are, no matter what your beliefs are, it matters not. You are still part of the oneness and you can't change it. You can only change it in your universe, in your reality, in your mind. But the truth of it is, it never changes. But your choices are honored. We honor you. Alba, your work will change as it has been changing. And we love to see you go in with it and opening another door and walking through it and another door. And it will continue to change and things are well with you. And we are very grateful to the work that you're doing. Thank you for those words. Are we complete today? We are going to send a little energy throughout this body. And we're going to take the excess and shoot it out to the world, to whoever needs it. It's always available. We are complete. Wide awake now. Wide awake, feeling wonderful all over. Whoa. (laughs) How was that for you? There are no words. Mm. Wow. Beautiful session, huh? Wow. That was exactly what I needed. (laughs) I think I remember everything. Mm -hmm. Wow. Ooh. How does your body feel? Liquid. (laughs) Liquid gold. Mm noodly but on fire how do you how do you describe that one yeah yeah quite, quite, quite a bit of uh, energy boost for you huh? mm. good stuff <laughs> really good stuff I feel like I'm going to heaven <laughs> uh, wow oh man How long do you think that this session was? 15 minutes. I mean, it was fast Mm -hmm. and furious. It's about an hour and 24 minutes, right? Really? Yeah. Pretty, pretty fast going. Your, your uh, higher self sure did have a lot to say. Were they not vocal? Mm -hmm. I was vocal. Yeah. Boy, did I learn something about I could feel that. Ooh. How did that tree feel? Oh, that was... That's my go-to place, mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah. Now you know. Yes. You know, when I did your little relaxation on your channel, mm-hmm. and that was the place I went to, Mm-hmm. But I, you know, I didn't know why or anything. I just thought this place feels pretty good, mm-hmm. and it's interesting. It was all the same things: the mountains, mm-hmm. the big oak tree, the big roots, and the building. Mm-hmm. But I did not go sit at the oak tree. I just stood underneath it. Mm-hmm. Now you, now you know you needed to sit there and be yes. caressed. Yes, and it's interesting that that's the place I went to immediately. Yeah, and boy, it was. The tree on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> so let's switch that selenite for some. Yes, shine, right? so I think we can, it's. We can ground you. I think I might have to take my hands off to get it. <laughs> there you go. It really did blend in with my hands. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Feel good. Yes. Yeah, that is grounding. That's amazing mm-hmm. how different. Feel the energy yeah. going through yeah. that. Yes. Unbelievable. So now that you've been through this experience, is this something you want to share with others? If it would help anybody, I'm open. I um, had a lot of information. Yeah. It makes me want to go out and pick some blackberries. 
see, I could relate to those blackberries. Mm -hmm. So I, I pick them every year and they ripen. It was, a, it was a really good explanation of the harvest. Uh, yes, it was very good for me yeah. because, but that's why I say if it would help anybody else, yes. they used a very good visual for me because mm -hmm. I pick them for three or four weeks out of the year every year and mm -hmm. I long for them to come in. I love to eat them, I love to pick them, I love to share them with other people, I love to hear what they say about mm -hmm. them. Yeah. Pretty I even good. love to see the big old beetles or June bugs feasting on them. <laughs> Get off my blackberry. That's wonderful. Oh, this was so amazing. Uh, my only expectation was that I would get what I needed. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you got it. I did. Volumes. You did great. Fantastic. So. You, this, you, you, what you do, Alba. Oh, wow. A little bit different than what you've experienced before? Well, yes, but the whole of what you're doing is it's not this. It's the reverberation. It's mm -hmm. like the stone that you hit across the pond, and it mm -hmm. just keeps... It's, when you touch the one, you touch the many. Mm -hmm. And that's a, a message for all of us when we touch the one, and we touch the one by doing what we're meant to do. Yeah, and what, what resonates with us, what right. we're choosing yeah. and being all in with it, mm -hmm. our beliefs and everything, we're all in. Mm -hmm. And it we did. just keep following it and following it and following it. Yeah, wow. Yeah. My whole mindset is completely changed. Pretty great transformation, huh? Ooh, it was. I don't know how that can happen. It's like I was like magic. Like the light turned on. <laughs> we did good. We did good. Oh, thank you. We did fantastic. So, tell me how it felt. Otherworldly. <laughs> oh, oh, gosh. There are really no words. I, I really don't have any words. Mm -hmm. It was far beyond my expectations. But the only expectation I came with was just I would get what I needed. Mm hmm you know, for now, for where I am yeah. now. And boy, my, my, I feel like my brain's been rewired. <laughs> now, tell everybody what type of training you took and what kind of experience you had with hypnosis. I, I took the QHHT online mm -hmm. and I did it in a very quick period of time. And I've performed QHHT on a couple of people. Uh huh. Family members were not as successful. <laughs> <laughs> they never are. <laughs> yes, but that's okay. Yes. And um, I actually went to have a session, and it was a very good session. Um, this was different. Mm -hmm. This was deeper. Um, I got what I needed at that time, and I got what I needed now. <laughs> but this was way deeper. Yeah. Um, way deeper. Gosh, I don't even know how to describe it. But yet, I was all there. I was mm -hmm. all in. So how would you describe hypnosis to someone, now that you know what a deep trance mm -hmm. is? It's, um, it's certainly nothing to fear, which I had no fear. Mm -hmm. Does it feel like sleep? It's, it's still invigorating when you sl you're not sleeping. Mm -hmm. You're invigorated by it because you know that what's coming through is a very powerful, mm -hmm. you know, Mm -hmm. I mean, it's got your attention. I apologize. I just know words. <laughs> it's it's so beneficial. Mm -hmm. It's um, it's an opening. It's a flowering. It's a worm to the butterfly. Mm -hmm. But you know, we can do that all the time. It, it's it's not one. I feel like it's not a one time event either. No, you keep you keep growing and growing. You do this all the time. Yeah. I mean, you're 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 hypnotized all the time. <laughs> you really are. The, you know, when you're in a daydreaming mode mm -hmm. and things are coming through, ideas yes. are coming through. You know, especially if you work on projects or little hobbies, and mm -hmm. all of a sudden you get this idea. Let me do this. That's coming from somewhere. Right. I'll tell you an interesting point that I noticed when I meditate. It seemed a lot like a lot of my meditations. Here's mm -hmm. the difference. You have someone there who's doing the dance with you. Yes. And they're probing for you mm -hmm. something that you don't tend to do yourself. Right. So maybe after this, I can learn to probe myself. Mm -hmm. 
Does that mm -hmm. make sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is very good because you were told your automatic writing is the best way to do it. Mm -hmm. And when you're doing automatic writing, you're probing yourself and it's writing. So this yes. is your best way of doing yes. it. Automatic writing is a way that you channel by doing writing. So you ask a question, you're in that state, and you start to write. And it's very simple. You've been yeah. doing it and you're getting answers. And they said, Jesus is helping you. Yes. yes. So you're getting a lot of the answers. And you had told me when we first started that you already had a lot of these answers. What was the difference? Part of it was confirmation, mm -hmm. but part of it was, um, I feel like I wasn't blocking myself. Ah. It's like block and tackle, you know, like somebody's carrying the ball. Yes. And you're like, there's this other part of you that's over there trying to get the ball away from, so let them go to make a touchdown. Does that make sense? <laughs> so, but I guess that's the game. Yes. That I, I was playing with myself for that season. Yeah. And I can choose to keep playing the game like that, or I can choose to be on the same team and carry the ball into the goal. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very good. So, so do you recommend this experience for other people? If you want it, yes. Mm -hmm. I think there's nothing to fear in it. Yeah. There's only good that comes out of it. So mm -hmm. like, but you have not? to be ready for it. Yes. You listen okay. to yourself. Yeah. This is not something that you recommend other people to do. The person mm -hmm. has to be the one coming to this yes. decision. So if you have a, a son or a daughter or a husband or a wife mm -hmm. that you think could benefit from this, that's not the way this works. Mm -hmm. This is something that comes from your own guidance. And when you feel that you need to do something like this, that's the time you do it. It's not something that you, it's not, hypnosis is not something like going to the doctors and getting a shot. You have to be yeah. ready for it. Make the changes and accept it. Yeah. So is this something that you're ready for other people to contact you or perhaps later? No, I would be happy for someone to contact mm -hmm. me. If they, is they there a way that they can contact you? I, I would open to help anyone. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, I don't have a website, mm -hmm. uh, but I do have an email okay. that they could contact me called Just Breathe Now mm -hmm. at iCloud.com. Perfect. And I'm, I'm, will help. I Terrific. Mean, that's, you know, I feel like that's one of my purposes, first mm -hmm. of all, to help me. Yes. And as I help me, you get helped. Yeah, and it seems that you're a channel too, so you can, while you're talking to them, also bring out yes. some information. Yes, yes. Very good. So if you would like a session with me, just go to albawyman.com, go to my out of town page. That's the only way to get an appointment with me. Subscribe to my newsletter, and it will tell you where I'm going to next. Right now, we are in Asheville, North Carolina, and a uh, beautiful place. The weather, a little bit cold for my taste. <laughs> Maybe Hawaii would be better for there me There were too. snow flurries this morning There were here. snow here today. And so if you would like a session with me, it'll tell you where I'm going to next. The newsletter will have links, and you click on that link, and it'll bring you the calendar for that city. So that's the only way. I hope I get to meet you sometime soon, and I hope you liked this session. I certainly did, and I learned a lot from it. Bye. Give me that. Give me that. Thank you so much. You're welcome.